You know, when you think about families coming to us and speaking to families today saying, when you go to look at communities, prepare to spend a couple of hours. Let's even, let's back it up a few minutes, even before they get to us, before a family takes that step, because it is a big step. Oh, to come yes. In emotional step. What are you finding families are going through before they actually pick up the phone to call us or before they walk in the doors of a, of a senior living community? What are things you often hear they have been doing for days, weeks, perhaps months, even years before they actually start looking? That's a great question. What I am seeing is they are becoming very complacent in the past couple of years. They know that this time is going to come, that the conversation needs to start taking place. But the anxiety can be extremely overwhelming. So what we have to do is lean in to everyone that we're talking with on the phone. And when they feel that you really are hearing them, we have to listen, we have to hear, we have to understand that this is not easy. We're in this every day, Michelle. We do this all the time. They don't. So they're looking at someone to say, hey, walk this journey with me. And as we do, we have to listen, we have to prepare, and we have to authenticate their feelings because it's okay to say to them, I know this is difficult. And I've said this to residents, you know this very well, that when residents are either on the phone or they're coming to see me, I say future residents or future family members, I always say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being really honest, how am I allowed to have a conversation with you today? Because we are not selling real estate. We're selling an atmosphere. We're selling life. And we want to do that as professionally as possible. So when they say that you can talk to them, uh, you know, on a scale of one to 10 to 10, you need to let them know that I can see that this whole decision is wearing on you and I don't even know you. I can mm -hmm. see it on your face. I could hear it in your voice. So then the very next step is let's let's just take a breather and just let's start this by saying. Every time you make a change, if that change leads to a better destination, then it's a good change. It's a good decision. We call it here at Thrive at Augusta the hard right. I'm making a very hard decision, but it's the right decision because it's going to be better all around because we cannot forget not only the person that may be coming to share life with us, but we cannot forget the loved one because their health oftentimes taking care and wearing the entire situation all over them, they start to plummet. Their health can start to plummet and we don't want that to happen. We wanna, we wanna catch it before it gets there.